in the last clip we'll talk about the running time of merge procedure okay so it is easy if we, it is written this way so if you look at this uh, this run in some constant time c1 c2 c3 c4 c4 right this run once so let me conclude that this is o of 1 right so this is just, just a constant and then uh, we have this loop, okay. This loop, okay. And each each line, if you look at it, it, it will run what with some constant number of uh, with a constant time as well. So this whole uh, maybe six lines run in in uh, say C five times, and here uh, this for loop will be executed for in. 1 plus n2 plus 1 time just the for loop right and the inside loop will run for n1 plus n2 times so the total running time is 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 uh, if you compare combine them all is is if you let me try to be precise so c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 plus oh so this is uh, c6 per instruction so it will be n1 plus n2 plus 1 times c6 plus n1 plus n2 times c5 and with some manipulation this is something like um, n1 plus n2 times some constant say c prime plus another constant c prime prime okay so from what we learned last time so this is uh, O of n1 plus n2. Okay, so that's that's the that's the running time of the merge, merge procedure, and then we use this fact uh, to uh, to derive the running time of merge sort later. Okay, so that's it for this clip. It will be really short. Thank you.